welcome back to Grow with the Jan family. I'm Anjali, and today we're going to be reacting to the mystery of Kalasa Temple of India. Yes, and we're so excited because yes. we've done some other temple videos. If you haven't seen them, check them out on our homepage. Anjali and I love this stuff. This is like we our absolute favorite thing. I We like the songs and movies, don't get us wrong, but this is like... Um, architecture history yeah. history this is Everything the history I like it. yeah <laughs> <laughs> I'm not always a fan of history but show me a beautiful temple and show me how you built this one is probably the highest on our bucket list of things to yeah. do and go see um, because it is amazing yeah I'm amazed of like how they go from top to bottom because one little mistake and you will see it when you look straight at it yeah so like how? In the side of a mountain, and then where did yeah. they put all that stone that they took out? And where how many years did it? it take them? Oh, oh my goodness! God. Okay, I have so many questions about so many temples. So many things. So I'm hoping, hoping that the person that requested this, all the answers are in here all because the answers are we want to know. I mean, the what we've seen has only been like a minute or two of each, yeah. you know, ten temples, and we've seen just a clip of this temple. This temple looks beautiful yes and um yeah it's one of the many temples on our list to go see when we come to india so let's start this up yes ancient architects the kalasa temple hello everybody mystery. and welcome to ancient architects Kisala. the enigmatic Kisala. kailasa temple <laughs> kailasa. In the Aura caves in maharashtra india has fascinated it's researchers beautiful. for centuries yeah as the world's largest monolithic structure, oh, it is without wow. doubt one of the most breathtaking yeah. sights on the planet. Exactly. It is often overlooked or at least overshadowed by sites yeah. such as the Giza I'd Pyramids of Egypt, of Stonehenge of England, the Mexican Pyramid of the Sun, Gebekli Tepe in Turkey, and so on. But this is certainly one of humanity's greatest architectural yeah. achievements. With Stonehenge, people dragged huge rocks and stood them upright. With the Kailasa Temple, they removed hundreds of thousands of tons of rock and shaped the resulting structure to yeah. perfection. They put all the rock. Mainstream mm -hmm. scholars claim the ancient caves in this region like date back to yeah, between the 5th so and 10th centuries AD, but many so believe they are far older, being not hundreds, but thousands of years old. The fact wow. is, nobody understands how this how particular temple like was built, that, as so it, it clearly like exhibits gold. a far more advanced technology than what we are told the people In of the India rings. had between the 5th and 10th centuries. And it it is cut out of solid yeah, basalt rock, side. leaving this incredible structure that totally boggles the mind. Mm -hmm. It, really it does. is thought to symbolize Mount Kailash, the oh. Himalayan abode of Lord Shiva, oh. one of the most important just, yeah, Lord deities. Shiva, yeah. And mm -hmm. it is just one of 34 cave systems that has been excavated wow. from the surrounding bedrock in this region. This particular temple is thought to have been built so during the reign of Krishna I, a ruler of the Rashtrakuta Empire in the 8th century AD, taking just 18 years to complete. It is estimated that the total of 200,000 you know, to 500,000 tons of rock were excavated out wow. of the vertical cliff. And another mystery is where the basalt like went. The, it yeah, seems to have vanished without a trace, it. along yeah. with the tools yes. used to build it. Based on the accepted history, if people worked a 12-hour day every single day for 20 years to build the temple, they would have had to dig out no less than 20,000 tons of stone a year, which oh, equates to 1,666 tons a month, or 55 tons a day, or 4 to 5 tons every single hour. And then of course, it had to be taken away, and the remaining exposed rock had to be intricately carved to be a temple fit for a god. Many who have studied yeah. it believe I, it was excavated vertically so that it was possible to achieve the end product. It's crazy. They state that the builders started at the top and worked downwards, carving out one of the most yeah. fascinating ancient temple complexes on earth. And as it was a bedrock excavation, there was zero room for error. Yeah. And on inspection, yeah. no, no room errors were for made. error. This How do you is sophistication do that with no to error? the highest order. But what did the builders use to create it? What tools were at their disposal? How did they manage to do it? Exactly. And why yeah. has the knowledge been lost, if indeed the mainstream is correct in their dating? The mainstream attests that hammers, chisels, yeah. and picks <laughs> were the only tools that used. were used. There but go. this isn't limestone or Let's soft sandstone. It is crystalline, volcanic, yeah. igneous rock. 
according to a medieval legend so told like by the Marathi this. people of yeah, Maharashtra, like... the Kailasa yeah. temple was actually built within a week. <sighs> Mm -hmm. It states that a queen whose husband was very ill prayed to Shiva, asking the god to heal her husband, and in return, the queen would build a temple and dedicate it to him, and fast until it was completed. The queen's prayers were answered, and she fulfilled her vows, and as the architect, known as Kokasa, was so concerned about the queen's fast, he said he could carve the structure within a week, and legend says he kept to his word. According oh, wow. to H.P. Blavatsky, so many of like the ancient elephant. temples yeah. in the region date back much further That's into history beautiful. than what scholars believe today. An M.K. Davalika, a notable Indian historian and archaeologist, suggests that the Kailasa temple has been adapted and carved by different people over a long period of time. Like many ancient structures, he believes there are many phases of work that gives it its final appearance. One of the pieces of evidence that historians mm. use to date it is an engraving on a perforated window in the west wall of one of the caves, in which we find an incomplete Sanskrit inscription of Brahmi script. It does give the genealogy of the Rashtrakuta dynasty, but all this proves was that the cave was there in the 8th century, not that it was created at that time. Many of the inscriptions in this mm. region have been weathered badly and there are no documented claims to its creation. Like the Great Pyramid of Egypt, which is not inscribed with the identity of the builder, the Kailasa Temple offers the same problem for historians. Whatever the true history behind it, the resulting Kailasa Temple this is a masterpiece is, worthy yeah, as a tribute to the gods. Like, how as well as the accomplishment people, of creating the structure like, yeah, as a whole, many of the individual sculptures crazy. are how breathtaking works take? of art in yeah. their own right. In the courtyard, there is an image of Nandi, the sacred cow of Shiva, who is facing Shivalinga, traditional features that are found in all temples dedicated to Shiva. There are 100 foot tall pillars of basalt and at the base of the structure we see exquisitely carved elephants, created to give the impression that the whole structure yeah. is being yeah, supported on the backs of these magnificent beasts. Furthermore, we also see, like, find scenes right from there, two major Hindu epics, really and in the southeastern yeah, gallery of the temple, awesome. there are ten panels depicting the different avatars of the Hindu god Vishnu. The temple also has bridges, a rainwater harvesting system, an intricate drainage system, hidden underground passages, secret peepholes that can be used to hide and then spy on people, balconies, as well as huge staircases years. which branch off <laughs> into multiple levels of the structure. Yeah. And remember, it is carved from the bedrock, with no stone blocks added. All of this had I to be mean, planned carefully before work even began, and there are no clear errors. Like... It is truly a work of perfection. Oh, yeah. There is another legend that dates back to the Mughai period, it's which like mentions the structure yeah. and states yeah, that during definitely. the reign of Emperor Aurangzeb, an attempt was made to destroy the temple. Apparently, 1,000 workers were sent to dismantle it, and after three years it suffered just minimal damage in the form of a few broken or disfigured statues. On realising it was impossible to destroy the temple, apparently the emperor gave up. Wow. We know that the Kailasa temple is just one of a number of carved ancient mm. caves and temples in this region, but it is also worth noting that nearby there are also many carved ruins which are submerged beneath the waves, and these may date back to the last ice age, when sea level was 100 metres lower. Wow. These ruins are detailed in Graham Hancock's fantastic wow. book Underworld. Earlier, I mentioned the temple's connection to Mount Kailash, the supposed Himalayan home of Lord Shiva. It's the mountain beautiful. is apparently yeah, unascendable, really and no human has ever scaled this sacred site, and therefore, as you can imagine, many legends surround it. A number of researchers, scholars and scientists believe that the top part of the mountain is in actual fact the remnants of a truly ancient pyramid. Mohan Bhatt, a Sanskrit scholar based in Mumbai, says the Ramayana refers to the sacred wow. mountain as a pyramid. Some ancient texts refer to it as the cosmic axis, or the stairway to heaven. Some say that Lord Shiva himself is buried inside it, and that the area is the true city mm. of the gods. Russian scientist Ernst Moldeshev went on an expedition with geologists, historians and physicists wow. to learn more about the secrets of Mount Kailash. The team came to the conclusion that it is a massive ancient man-made pyramid, surrounded by many smaller pyramids. 
Mordashev believes it was built by an ancient and advanced people who knew about wow. things such as the law of subtle energy. He says that the mountain is the most important part of a system of ancient monumental structures, directly connecting sites such as the Great Pyramid of Egypt. Some researchers believe that the same long-forgotten ancient people that built the Pyramid of Mount Kailash also built the Kailasa Temple, and that their relationship in name is not coincidental. Whatever the true history of the Kailasa Temple, there is certainly something wrong with the archaeological interpretation of hmm. this site. Interesting. Either our understanding of the technology of the 8th century is completely wrong, or the time frame attributed to the Kailasa Temple is wrong by hundreds if not thousands of years. However it was done, it is undoubtedly a tribute to ancient Indian craftsmanship and aesthetics, on an exceptionally grand and breathtaking scale. Apparently, there are thousands and thousands mm, of ancient yeah. Sanskrit texts still it waiting is, to be translated, yeah. so maybe the secret of the Kailasa Temple is waiting for us to find. This was amazing. And yeah. it answered a few of our questions, but I feel like it didn't answer everything. Yeah. Um, you know, I guess there's still some mystery to it, which is nice. Yeah. So. so I have two unanswered questions, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna, you know talk about them so my first unanswered question that i need answered is <laughs> in case you guys know the answer <laughs> how many people it took to do this because i mean like it's tons of rock that some people are carving some people are taking the rock away other people are doing planning out and figuring out what the people need to do step by step and each probably pe person probably has like a map of what they're doing next Hmm, sure, they have maps drawn out. <laughs> I mean, this is just the fact that they said they, they, this is the kind of thing that you can't have an error in, and they obviously didn't because it came out yeah. fantastic, is just amazing, amazing. Yeah. And, you know, like the, the tools that they used, you know? Yeah, just... it's like a chisel and a hammer and just going like, dit, dit, dit. yeah. For every single step, and it's. Yeah, Mind and as blowing. they went down, like, they sculpted, you know, pictures of the gods. And, yeah. Like, it just unbelievable the amount of thinking and processing and architecture yeah. and engineering yeah. it took. You know, even today, I don't think you could reproduce this no. without huge machinery and and even with the machinery i feel like sometimes that would make it worse because mm -hmm. you have the machine you're just like oh yeah we did this but now you have the machines and they might like ruin the project you know slightly mm -hmm. a little might bit be too big or too harsh whereas if you're doing it by hand and by hand takes a long time yeah. the process but when you look at this oh my god this oh my god. is like unbelievable i don't even yeah. know what else to say about this this is like amazing that they thought this up yeah. like how did they figure this out and then and then do it and have it come out perfect, perfect. and it's just beautiful beautiful and we can't wait to go there yes. i really can't this was amazing yeah so that brings me into my next question which is who figured out the idea like how they how they um come up with it yeah come yeah. up with the idea we're gonna build a temple inside of a rock so let's yeah. start digging like who came <laughs> up with, you know like yeah. who came up with the fact and like did they base it off of something else that came before it i don't know we haven't we've seen stuff built out of rock yeah but a temple built out of rock underneath off, off ground into the into the mountain like into the ground as opposed to like taking the rocks and moving it and building the temple yeah. on top of the mountain or up high you know or you know somewhere yeah this is like you're going to the mountain and building it into the mountain yeah. like i want to search up exactly who figured out the idea to make a temple inside like underneath ground like how yeah yeah just amazing amazing yeah. and on our bucket list to go see when we come to india We're going to see that. we need to go see this and i didn't know about the mountain like they talked no. about it being it looks like a mountain but then they're yeah. saying maybe it is 
a, a temple similar to the pyramids. Yeah. Uh, which, to me, looks like part of the Himalayas. Like, it mm-hmm. looks like a mountain, especially with yeah. the snow on top of it. So, you know, if there's some connection with this temple and that That'd be structure really cool that looks out. like a mountain. But um, you guys let us know because I feel like there's probably more of a religious thing behind it. Yeah. You know, your theory behind this was more this was very scientific and um i liked some of their theories behind it but i feel like that other is probably if it's uh dedicated to lord shiva there he was saying is like um the resting place where he is yeah. or uh, we learned about um or maybe that was the himalayas where uh he pushed his, with his foot down. Yeah, you know, he pushed so, his foot down. Yeah, and so then there's like marks on it. And so, you know, is it one of those kind of stories? Let us know if there's some yeah. story behind that mountain or temple, if that's what it is. That's really interesting. That, it's a mystery. It is a mystery. I mean, these are just amazing, amazing, amazing. Yeah. Um, and there's so many beautiful ones in India. So our list is getting longer and longer and longer. Yeah. But I hope you guys like this. Don't forget to subscribe. Click that bell so you can get notified when we post new videos. And we'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Bye.